Hello everybody, welcome back to my story. So I didn't exactly get to go where I was intending to go today. That uh, live stream uh, really uh, made me sleep uh, in incredibly late. So I uh, ended up decided to come back here to this uh, really incredibly large graveyard that I was uh, filming the other day. And uh, I'm going to get the rest of it completed and then head out on the bigger trip uh, tomorrow morning instead. That way I have a lot more time and the weather is actually supposed to be a lot better tomorrow. Uh, so it should be a really uh, great day of travel. But I wanted to definitely get out on the road and get something done today, so uh, here I am. <laughs> All right, things went uh, pretty uh, well. Uh, it seems like my focus is a little bit slower, but uh, sun is starting to set. It's looking incredibly, well not starting to set, the sun is uh, just about all the way set. Uh, it's looking incredibly beautiful out here, and uh, been a great uh, episode here that I filmed today. Uh, and actually, I wasn't expecting to come here and find uh, some of the things that I found. Like a lot of uh, older places that I've been where the edges are kind of undefined, as you can tell in a lot of my episodes, um, this place was uh, very much the same and I wasn't expecting that. It looked like the edges were very clean cut, but as soon as I got to the woods I started to find the uh, destruction and uh, buried pieces of uh, people's uh, stones that had disappeared over the years. Just some very uh, strange things and uh, you'll see in the episode what I mean but it was uh, kind of bittersweet I guess uh, just because um, some of it could have easily been prevented. About to head back to the command center as we uh, speak here and uh, finish up the episodes that are going to be coming out this weekend on 539 Productions. I had a lot of fun with all of you guys uh, streaming and uh, hanging out and uh, we just kind of did a general uh, hangout uh, this time and um, just to test all the equipment out, make sure the mic was working, and of course as I was telling everybody on the live stream, the uh, video camera that I was using to stream is definitely a temporary thing and uh, needs to be upgraded to this camera here in the future. However, um, other than the quality of the camera, it really uh, was a great experience and I'm looking forward to actually being able to stream and do uh, some more content uh, other than just uh, hanging out. Definitely after the experience, uh, I definitely uh, would consider that sort of a live streaming an option for us just to kind of come together every once in a while and spend some time uh, hanging out together and just uh, having sort of a group discussion. It was quite a, uh, a neat experience uh, to have and uh, to be able to hang out with you guys in a more, uh, like I said, a live situation where we actually could talk back and forth right away uh, rather than uh, replying to each other through the comments. do the live stream tonight or if I'm gonna try and do one tomorrow night 
Uh, again, it was a lot of fun, but six hours of uh, live streaming until about, what were we up to, about five in the morning or six in the morning, and uh, it really uh, takes a toll on you, and I really have to get out tomorrow to do uh, some more travel and uh, hit up a few uh, really cool locations. So if I'm not able to actually get on and live stream with y'all tonight, I'm gonna try and do that tomorrow, and I might actually try and do like a special live stream on the uh, way home from filming if it's possible and safe. Because I definitely wanted to include everybody in these live streams. I know that some of you are not able to uh, get into the uh, late night streams due to your schedule, so I'm definitely going to be planning to do a few daytime streams as well.